Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Transistor. Thanks for tuning in. I just I finished another- funny, just ignore me, oh, okay? If I start talking funny, just ignore me? Okay, sword boy. I just start. I just finished doing another performance test. It was very hard. There were nine waves. Oh, oh, oh. good. Here again. Here again, yay! Oh, we got some updated function files. Woohoo! Okay, there's more about us. To appreciate the impact of Red's music, consider first the current state of Cloudbank's social climate and how it evolved over the past two decades. When an altercation finally erupted in the crowd during one of her performances, it was the first such incident in four years. What? Why? It escalated to the point where administrators were summoned to the scene. As one of the suspects was banned from the premises, he accused Red of being an instigator and pro- prov Wow, that's a word I've never seen. I can, I can understand what it means, a provocator? but provocateur. Actually, I'm gonna look this up. I like looking up pronunciations because without the E-U-R, I, I would just think provocator, provoking a person who provokes, but uh, like saboteur, you know, saboteur. So uh, let's see. What? I would, I just want to know how to pronounce it. Usually Google brings up a thing. Let's see, pronunciation. No, yes, pronunciation. I would like to look up the pronunciation of this word, please. Thank you. All right. Usually this this uh, website is not correct, so let's go ahead and hear it. <laughs> Usually it pronounces it funny. Come on, just provocateur. Provocateur. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's entirely accurate. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, a person who provokes stuff and instigates stuff. You know what I mean? Red later stated it was in this moment that she fully understood the potent effect her music had on people. She decided to take certain precautions from that point, receding from the spotlight to compose new material in relative privacy. Rumors swirled. Then, once she finally reemerged, trouble followed. What? That's really interesting. Okay. Install and use function in a passive slot to learn more, which is what I just did, I think? Is that- yeah. So this one's uh, still in a passive slot? Yes, it was already in a passive slot. What else was new? Uh, here we go. Maximilias Darcy. Not everyone wears the Darcy brand. However, two years ago, more than 56% of individuals between ages of 16 and 42 showed interest in or in or complimented someone wearing Mr. Maximilius Darcy's clothing. The self-styled Cloudbank clothier became a fa fashion icon in his early 20s when he, was, when he introduced to the world a garment line that boldly eschewed formal tradition. Not only that, so prolific was his work that seemingly everyone in Cloudbank, in reality was only 8% of the population at the time, found garments that spoke to them as individuals. In spite of all this, all was not well in Mr. Darcy's life. I like the little part in parentheses, it's so passive aggressive. <laughs> I'm a Assuming it's in his eyes, not really sure. Interesting. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, fun, let's see, put it in an upgrade or passive slot. So I think it's currently in an active slot. Okay, so uh, passive or or upgrade slot. So let's put it, let's put it on one of these. So actually, I don't, I don't know what else I'm gonna switch around yet. So more about Asher, okay. Mr. Kendrell was struck by the administrator's wisdom and depth of experience, and the two shared a passion for seeking the truth of things and for much more as it turned out. One day, the administrator took Mr. Kendrell aside to a place unlike any he'd seen before and revealed to him something he never could have imagined. With it, the administrator said, together they could learn so much about the past and about the future, as long as Mr. Kendrell was willing to keep it a secret. Mr. Kendrell accepted without a second thought. The administrator was much more to him than just a source at this point. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's see what else is new. Oh, that's all of them for now. Okay, hold on, give me a second to just switch some things around. Okay, I'm back, switching things around so we get as much story as possible. Okay, let's continue. So I just came from there. Uh, let's head this way. Oh gosh. Soon everyone, Soon everyone will what? Okay, so I have a bunch of new stuff, so I'm kind of confused right now. Uh, I believe this is coal? Yes, okay, so I can pack it coal and ping. Um, pinging will not do very much, so let's call and ping you a couple times maybe that doesn't really help that's fine go for it okay let me let me right over here why are you acting so weird honey okay 
I know that's because of that creature, but still, why is it making you say such strange things? Okay, Except let's run away. Can I just do this? <laughs> Thing is pretty fun. Honey, it's hard to pay attention to what you're saying. Uh, wait, is this not gonna work? You're just protected right now? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, here we go. Here's the money. Disrupted! Who's disrupting me? Stop! Fine! Shoot, man. Okay, this isn't working out. This clearly isn't working out. This random set that I, I equipped to, to, uh, to try and progress the story is not working out. Okay, I'm gonna throw a packet and I'm gonna smack it. <laughs> throw a packet and I'm gonna smack it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I need to shoot it. I need to shoot it, but I gotta protect myself. Oh my God, the clucker, the clucker. Oh my God. Okay, let's get rid of, shoot, shoot, damn it. Damn it, my main attacker. Oh, this is terrible. Who's interrupting me? I forget who has that ability. Somebody's interrupting me. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these two first. Damn it all. Damn it all. Okay, 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 okay. I guess I guess it's those black uh uh Okay, I'm gonna switch. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I just need you off my back for a sec. Holy cow. Are you is that you speaking to me, sword boy? You're scaring me. Oh my god, oh my god! Okay. Breathe. Breathe. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Just ping it a couple times. And run in. Ping has saved your life multiple times. You can do this. You can do this. Just gotta get rid of that stupid clucker that is being protected by this cheerleader. Okay? Uh, just, just, uh, throw out a packet and smack it, hopefully. Did I shoot the packet? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. I think it's still chilling there. That's not good. I, I need that to be ch I need that to be blowing up right now. Oh my god. I need that to be blowing up right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's just throw one down here. There we go. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, can I switch you over to my side or something? Okay, and I'm just gonna shoot this thing over to you. Oh shoot. Didn't quite work. How about this? How about one of these? Okay. Woo! That was tough. That was tough. Can I switch some of these out now? Holy cow. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's let's get some more stuff. Okay. The Camerata, oh, disappearance. The Camerata found her one night once the crowds dispersed after one of her performances. They had reason to believe that she would be alone, rehearsing said new material, but she was not alone, and the presence of another individual disrupted aspects of the Camerata's plan for the night. Red survived the incident, becoming separated from the Camerata due to these unforeseen events on their part. Although her trace data remains intact, partial transfer did occur, including transfer of ownership status of something the Camerata believed theirs, which is, I guess, the transistor. Okay. All right. Interesting. What else? Here we go. I forgot which part they... I think it was... Y Yonda Yondale, Yondale, they, they stress like an interesting part, I think. Administrative restrictions over the northwestern part of Goldwalk conflicted with the breadth of sky that needed painting. Because of her physiological state, however, Miss Yondale disregarded these restrictions and painted away. The result was stunning, as the majority of onlookers failed to find words to describe it. But because Miss Yondale wantonly ignored a front page directive from administration, she was banned from sky painting for a term 2.5 times longer than she found acceptable. She petitioned for reprieve and came in contact with an administrator who suggested there were ways the term could be lightened. She was eager to learn how. Mm. All right. Dependencies. In private, Mr. Darcy suffered from certain dependencies he believed were the source of his talent, or rather, the source of his inspiration. Drugs? Unfortunately, he was correct in this assessment. When he decided to come forward and wean himself from these dependencies, after an initial public outpouring of support, his career started to falter. His ideas came less quickly, or he could not act on them as quickly. 
And so, against the wishes of his closest confidant and partner, he resumed his old habits. It was then that Mr. Darcy met certain individuals professing knowledge of his condition, who invited him to participate in an experiment that could cure him without compromise. Believing he had little to lose, Mr. Darcy decided it was worth a shot. Oh, man. Hello there again. All right. Mr. Kendrell continued writing for OVC, now with an ulterior motive, having joined the administrator's inner circle. The administrator needed someone like Asher to help keep a low profile, someone who could speak directly to the hearts and minds of the population and truly understand their needs. That way, they, would, they could conduct their work in service of the people. Cloudbank would enter a new era. Holy cow, dude. Okay, off screen again to switch things around because that arrangement was not fun and I did all I could. <laughs> Jeez, most of these suckers need to be in the passive slot, and there's only two slots, <laughs> so it's gonna take a while. Anyways, I put in what I could. All right, yes? Will I ever see you again? What? Will, will we ever I mean, see? Face to face. Oh. I mean, we're trying I'll to find a way. About that. Oh. Like, maybe you can get me out of here, or something. I certainly want to try. Then. What? Hand in hand. Oh. I'll get you out of there, sword boy. I'm gonna do my best, okay? I'm gonna do my best. Also, did I just observe something and there was no- Oopsie, a commentary on that? Maybe because he was in the middle of his monologue. Okay, wait. Why did I come into this section? Hold up. Uh... Is there somewhere else I can continue to? Or is this a dead end? I wandered in here for a reason. Oh, is this a- Thing I can traverse? What's happening? Is this a maze? What the? What is this? Ah! Oh! Can I? What? What is this? Can I get through here? What? How do I? How do I? How do I breathe? How do I live without you? How could I ever survive? What the heck? I think it's dead. I think it's dead. What the? How do I? How do I get in there? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna walk everywhere I possibly can. I'm facing over there, facing in here. Okay, maybe I have to circle around, and for some reason they're letting me in here when I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> okay. How about over here? I, I observed it earlier, but it didn't say anything, so is this actually a, a walkway to go through? Or what? Hmm. What? Okay, what about if I go this way? Is there another way through? I just came from here, so I'm assuming that this probably isn't where- What, 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 what? I'll be up- I'll be back. What the heck? Okay, I don't know why I wasn't working earlier, but now my attacks are suddenly starting to work. Maybe because I was supposed to approach from the front? I don't know. I don't know why I wasn't working earlier. Okay, anyways, maybe I wasn't trying. Maybe I wasn't trying hard enough. Ah, please go away. Thank you. Hello there. Oh no! Where are we gonna get our flatbread now? We just had one like not too long ago, so they were still just in business and chilling out at that point, even though everybody was gone and there was a giant monster in town. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad we could at least get one last delivery. It isn't it ain't delivery? It's Jornos. Oh well, you told me to get the sea monster last time, so I'll listen this to you, bud. Is a tragedy. What? What? The fact that they're closing? Aww. What the? Your your meal will be delivered to your home in nine 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 fifty nine minutes. Awesome. Cool. Sounds great. Okay. Oh, fun! Please stop. I was trying to order some flatbread. I was trying to order some sea monsters. Okay. Okay. What else is around here? Hello. Yes. That's a beautiful bike. Oh, we're back! I didn't realize hey, we made it back. Oh, oh, that's fun. Not our bike. <laughs> hey, that's not a bike. That's a good observation, honey. Very good observation. I'm so proud of you, bud. Um, good. Oh, it disappears. That's good. What a haircut. What a haircut? <laughs> oh my god, your observations are gold, baby. Okay. Uh, let's go. 
I don't know. Like a man. Hmm. Hey, Red. Yeah. Thanks for the lift. Of course. I'll take you anywhere. I'll take you anywhere, hun. So we're riding all the way to Fairview, huh? I didn't realize we were going to our bike. Hi. Hi. You better? What I said back there. About wanting to see you again. I mean, it's true, face right? To face. Yeah, I want to see you too. I want you to know. I meant it. Yeah, me too. Me too. I want to help see you. I want to help you out of there, bud. See, that's interesting because if, like, if we're collecting these souls from bodies, that means they died, right? So, like, can we just bring them back to life and just infinitely juggle them back and forth between a sword and and their corpse and then going back to life? Like, that's... Bike deserves some kind of reward. Seems pretty impossible. Not to get wiped out like all his bike friends. See you in the country, Mr. Bike. Uh, let's see. That counted! That counted! Great! Okay! File complete. Disappearance. Timestamp on subject's integration coincides with timestamp of previous authenticated user relinquishing access and control. Although subject's trace data was corrupted during integration, nonetheless, such data has its uses and consequently derived a suitable function. Subject's trace data remains disjointed and cannot be recovered. So, I mean, we still didn't really find out much about him. Didn't find out much about him, but at least the file is complete. So that's something. All right. More about Lillian Pratt. Okay. Disappearance. Miss, or rather, Platt. Did I say Pratt? I meant Platt. Miss Platt never learned the truth about her vanished friend, although in a brief moment, she did learn the truth about the unusual phenomenon. To the camarada, Miss Platt was more of a meddler than an opportunity, one of a scarce few who held some knowledge of their movements. When the time came, they made sure that they were nowhere near her last known location. According to OVC, Miss Platt has been missing for more than two weeks, and the trail has gone cold. Incidents of foul play have occurred less than once a year on average for the last 10 years, but authorities have not yet ruled it out in this case. Very fishy and suspect. Here we go. More about our bike friend. Freewheeling. Free falling. Freewheeling. Tracking systems on his bike indicate that Mr. Moyle headed northwest across the canals late one night, averaging speeds 228% faster than the common standard. Uh, wow. That's, that's pretty dang fast. He surely was aware that the northwestern corner of Cloudbank was offline pending investigation, and this was likely the appeal. Having his very own abandoned part of town to race through on his custom bike was Preston Moyle's dream, and the reality lived up to the dream, judging by the volume of Mr. Moyle's laughter recorded by his bike. However, the recording stopped abruptly. <gasps> Gasp. Let's see. The channel. No, disappearance. The camarada saw in Miss Chain. I'm going to say Chain. I just, I'm, I don't know. I, if he said it one time, I'm really sorry. An invaluable moral compass of sorts. Someone predominantly driven by philanthropic goals and seeking no personal gain from her actions. This type of perspective, they felt, was an important counterbalance in comparison to some of the other individuals they had in mind, whose work was no less significant to the city, but whose intentions were not as plain to see. After her disappearance, those who knew Miss Chain reluctantly came to believe that the channeled incident shook her resolved, resolve enough to where she decided to go away for a while to reignite her passions. Very interesting. Okay, and we did not finish any uh, anybody else's. Okay, back again soon. Oh... Okay, back after rearranging some stuff, let's continue. All right, come closer, young ladies detected. Six no, young ladies here to see me. Nice. Oh my God. Uh, Red, wait. What? Uh, should I be touching the cells or not touching the cells? Uh, I'm pretty scared. Can I call a bunch of them at once? Cause that'd be great. Um. I am afraid. I am afraid. Oh, I'm afraid. I am afraid. I'm really scared. Oh, I'm really scared. Can I? I mean, calling a bunch at once would be really great. Um. I don't know. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Should I just leave? Should I just leave? Oh wait, 
Uh, my emergency turn already activated. I guess I, was I am supposed to fight them. Oops. <sighs> I was trying to escape in the middle of combat. That wasn't good. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna hit with this, but it doesn't hurt to try. Press A, press A, press A. Aw, oh, man, I was supposed to leave. Dang it all. I wasn't supposed to, well, I, maybe I could have killed them. Maybe I could have killed them, but it sure wouldn't have been easy. I keep trying, I keep losing this one. This one just needs me to to win a battle in it with, with it in the active slot, and I keep losing it, so we never get info on this guy. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, let's just stick something else in there. Let's stick the void in there, why not? Oh my god, I'm so terrible. Holy cow. Good as new. I guess if you say so. Here's where we found one of the lucky ones. This is where oh, this is where Moyle was. What? Oh! Oh my God! Ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! This is not what I was expecting. Okay, let's undo the movement. Boy, do three times and go. I dropped the packet on the other side. Apparently, oh, or somebody else did. I don't. Hey, I, I think I, I dropped it as a passive thing. Oh, jeez, I don't have a runaway thing, so I just have to keep slowly ambling around. It's very fun. Um, okay. And boom! There we go. Shoot skis. Okay. Boom. Woo! They took a chunk out of the floor. Took it where though. Oh my god. Holy cow. Alright, let's deal with these snapshots in the next episode. <sighs> I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired, you guys. Holy cow. These battles, they're very fun, but and interesting and kind of mind-bending in a way. Uh, but also very exhausting. I do like, I do like that you have to use each skill in like a different area in order to unlock more story because it actually gives me incentive to try out new things. I was really stuck on just a certain subset of skills, um, but I guess both this story thing and as well as the practices, the practice tests, um, give me more of an incentive to actually switch up everything because it's like, hey, I get to try out this cool move. What does it do? Uh, I see how it meshes well with this other move. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty, it is pretty fun to switch things around every once in a while. It's just once I find like a combination I like, I kind of want to stick to it. So who knows? Anyways, join me next time. This is Axis, over and out.